Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to go ahead and film like a half yearly favorites for like the best makeup so far of the year. So this will be all makeup products, but I figured I would go ahead and do one of these. Since we just got out of the month of June, we're into July and it's about the halfway point towards the year, I wanted to share some products that have really been the best of the year in my opinion. And I don't wanna have this video be too long, so I really wanted to narrow down the top favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with primer. This is gonna come as no surprise because I featured this in quite a few videos so far. I did like last month a Makeup I'm Obsessed With video, so a few of these might be in there, but this is just kind of reiterating how much I love these products. So I'm not usually a primer girl, I don't think they do a whole lot for me. Some of them even make me even more oily than I would be without a primer. So I just kind of like do my skincare, maybe throw a primer on here and there. But I do have two that I found this year that have really been game changers for me. First being this one from Hourglass. This is the Veil Mineral Primer Oil-Free version. So kind of an updated version of their original primer, which I also loved that one. But... Um, just keep in mind this whole video, I have oily skin, so most of these products are going to be recommended for that skin type, oily combo, not necessarily dry skin, because I know that this one really is oil-free. It keeps my oils at bay all day long. This makes my skin so silky soft and sucks all that oil right up, keeps my foundation lasting all day. I'm going to tell you about a deal running right now with this primer, which is such a good deal. This is actually my backup one because I'm almost done with my original. But for the Nordstrom sale, you guys can get this kit. Um, I know it's only open right now for the card holders. If you guys have a Nordstrom credit card, you can shop now. I think it's available to everyone on July 15th and it lasts till about the end of the month. But if you've been wanting to try this primer, buy this kit because this is a really good deal. The primer itself is almost a $50 primer or maybe it it's at the $50 price point, I'm pretty sure. And you can get this kit for $72, and it comes with a full-size powder as well, which is also worth about 50 bucks. So you're saving money with this kit and trying out two of their best-selling products, but you really can't beat this primer. It's It really does the job, and like I said, I am not a primer person, but this one works well for me. Now, this one is kind of a foundation primer hybrid. I've been talking about this one like crazy, the Danessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin. Um, it's the Blurring Balm Powder, and you can use this one as a foundation if you buy a tint. It is a light tint, or you can use it as a primer, which is what I did today. It really mattifies and smooths the skin again, blurs everything. It's excellent, so you guys could see how much I have used of this one. It's so great, especially in the summertime if you're just struggling with your skin, just not holding up your foundation well because it's hot out and you're sweating. This really mattifies everything. I even wear this alone in the summertime as like a little skin tint and it stays on literally all day. Like I think I did a wear test with this and it looked the same like eight hours after I just applied it. I wore this for a 4th of July party, uh, which we were outside. It was such a humid day in Iowa. I think it was like 90 degrees. It had rained earlier that morning and it was hot. Like everyone was dripping sweat, but my face was still looking good with this on. This is all I wore. So it's a great one for summer, but I'm always going to continue to use this throughout the other seasons as like a primer before um, setting my foundation on. And like I took this with me to Chicago last weekend. I'm going to take this with me to Miami because it, keep, it keeps my makeup on all day throughout all hours, all weather. So good. I feel like I have a lot of foundation in this video and I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I try a lot of those. So um, another great summer favorite is actually by One Size. This is the Turn Up Base Beauty Blur Balm. This, oh my gosh, it stays literally all day. My only gripe is I feel like I'm going through this so fast. You do get a normal ounce of product, but I do feel like it's a thicker consistency, so I feel like more of it comes out at once and you just use up more as you're using it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just feel like I go through this so fast, but this has been a summer staple for me as well. It does not budge off of the face. It gives, it gives a really nice medium matte coverage, so... I love the one size brand. I feel like Patrick Starr's line 
is so good. He has some really great hits, but this is such a good one for summer. If I just want a medium coverage, I'm out and about all day, and I don't want to have to worry about touching up my foundation. This does not get me oily at all. Now, this one's a little bit more on the glowy side, but I really love this one too from Kosas, the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. So if I don't want something super matte, but I want to still have a little bit of a glow, maybe I don't need my makeup on for all hours of the day, but it's a great one for summer too because it does have the SPF included. Included, um, SPF 25 I have the shade light neutral 140 in this one but I just feel like this is very skin like it's not super drying on the skin at all so I feel like most skin types would actually like this one but it gives me a decent amount of coverage and I just feel like it looks really beautiful on the skin Another one that I've actually been loving, I wasn't sure about this one when I first tried it, but I keep reaching for this one more and more, and this is the updated version of Makeup's for, Makeup Forever's HD Skin. Um, this looks so beautiful on my skin. I don't know what it is. It just looks so natural. It gives me, I'd say, a medium coverage. It's not super glowy and it's not super matte but it wears really well for me throughout the day so i've been reaching for this one a ton it's just so pretty on the skin i feel like this one's very hit or miss though i think people with dry skin maybe didn't love it so much but it works well for oily and combo for sure and this one i have shade one in one four i also wanted to mention a concealer favorite and this one kind of snuck up on me because this one came out very recently but i've been loving it i feel like concealers they're always hit or miss for me and it's hard for me to like really find a concealer that does everything I want like giving me coverage but also not sinking into fine lines this Huda Beauty faux filter concealer is so good like definitely a top hit for me it's my only concealer pick this year I guess I really haven't tried like a ton but I was wowed like this is a top top favorite in my collection there's tons of shades in this one I have the shade cotton candy which I think is so cute but it is excellent. It really covers up underneath the eyes and seriously it lasts without looking super dry and wrinkly under there. Definitely give this one a shot if you haven't checked this out yet. For powder, I've been kind of using just my same tried and true powders. Like I really love the one size I always talk about in the Huda Beauty one, but I did try this one from ColourPop this year and I thought it was a really good one. So this is actually a pressed powder. I have two shades. Fair 4, which I use underneath my eyes to brighten up, and I also have Light 7, which I use as an all-over setting powder. This one really holds on to the skin. It holds your makeup really well. You can use it by itself and add a little bit of a tint, but it's really not much at all, so I just use this as a setting powder. I feel like it blurs everything and really mattifies things down, so I would say this is better for oily skin for sure. I feel like it works really good under the eyes too. I like having a little coverage with this fair shade to just brighten things up a bit. You'll see in my demo, it just really brightened up underneath the eyes, but these really help my makeup last for a while, and I thought it was a really good launch from ColourPop. So I wanted to mention the Pretty Fresh Powder. Okay, so for bronzers, I have tried quite a few of those this year as well, and I think cream bronzer is definitely winning for me. You guys already know how much I love the Charlotte Tilbury. This is my top favorite bronzer of the year, and it is a cream formula, but it's such a nice, like stiffer formula so it's not super creamy where it just blends away it's one of my pet peeves with cream bronzers it stays on the skin and it's, it's so easy to work with it works over powder which is a huge struggle for me because i use a lot of mattifying products and sometimes that can make my bronzers a little patchy especially when working with creams but this blends over powder over your foundation over your natural skin so well i'm still obsessed with this one so i have on the shade medium today i also wear the shade fair quite a bit as well when i'm not self tanned but literally best bronzer of the year charlotte tilbury i don't think anything can beat this one now another cream bronzer that i think is great and if you want a little bit more of a natural look something a little bit creamier to blend out then you should try out the rare beauty ones these have been sold out like all year for a reason they are really good um i love the shade happy soul some of the other colors are a little orangey but happy soul is the coolest one and i would definitely recommend it it's so beautiful it just blends out like a dream almost gives like a blurring effect it feels a lot more creamy while the charlotte tilbury almost feels like a putty if that makes sense but you can see like charlotte tilbury 
it still blends out really nice but it's just a little thicker but I kind of like the thickness of it but it's just like two different looks where for whatever I'm going for that day but these are definitely the best two cream bronzers now for powder bronzer I actually have really been liking this one from house labs and I feel like no one's been like talking about this I feel like a lot of people just think her line is okay but I don't know I found quite a few things that I really like from the line and this bronzer is definitely one of them definitely check out the color light level 3 I think this is such a nice neutral shade it has a gorgeous like packaging the H embossed in there it's very luxe I'll go ahead and swatch it is like really buttery soft for a powder and then here is the swatch of it it is so beautiful if you guys do prefer a powder formula I go in between both I love cream some days I like powder some days but this is a great choice for a powder okay so next is blush and I feel like last year was the year of blush for me so I only have a couple favorites in this video but this one is hands down my top favorite of the year i was so impressed with the one size cheek clapper 3d blush trio so these actually have a little cream here a powder and then like this highlight shade now i have to be honest i never use the highlight shade in here so maybe that's a waste for me i feel like it just could have been these two but this color in very that is gorgeous literally every time i wear this non-stop compliments it's like a pinky peach color so wears very neutral you could wear with pretty much any look but oh my gosh the formula is incredible it reminds me a little bit of the really popular Patrick Ta ones that came out so you have your cream which is a little more natural I'll go ahead and swatch it it's a really pretty peachy rose and then you can layer it up with the powder now the powder is really what brightens it up it is so pigmented you only need a little bit of product um, I'll go ahead and put that over top and that will just like boom brighten that right up there it is so pigmented so beautiful such a nice formula um i i love this shade i don't know if i would get any more colors just because this is the lightest one in the collection and it is very bright so i feel like i'm just really happy with this color and i don't know if i would use the other deeper ones quite as much because they might be just a little too much for me i also wanted to mention i finally got my hands on the ever so popular dior blush this year this did not come out this year but it is a new one to me this year and it did gain some pretty good popularity so i wanted to mention this one as well because it is beautiful especially I would say if you have more of a fair or lighter skin tone um, it is supposed to kind of adjust to your skin tone as well and kind of become the perfect pink it is a blue based pink which is hard to find but it is so beautiful it really brightens up the cheeks I'll swatch it here I love these like baby doll bright pink cheeks like this so I do enjoy the Dior blush quite a bit okay for brows I have two favorites here and usually I'm a benefit girl like benefit precisely my brow for days but I'm trying out some new ones and I gave the give brow pencil a shot and this one is the ultra fine brow pencil hella on point it's called so good it reminds me a lot of the huda beauty micro one because it has this teeny tiny tip but it's so much better because the huda one constantly broke off and i feel like i wasted so much product this one does not break but it really precisely marks out the brows i can really fill them in where i need to and do some fine detail work so good this one is in the shade number two and then i also use this one a lot as well from nyx the thicket stick it this is my go-to for like every day um i actually wear this more by itself i did do it over top of the give one today um to show you guys how it works but it does stick up the brows a little bit and also thickens them up just like the name says but this is my go-to for like a uh, really natural makeup day no makeup day because this kind of just like makes the brows look like you tried without like putting too much effort in so I really really enjoy these I have the shade cool blonde okay, now we have eyeshadow palettes which is a pretty large category for me I will say I feel like this year I have not been as impressed with the eyeshadow palettes lately and I don't know what it is if I'm just buying less because I just feel like I really haven't tried out a ton besides like a ton of ColourPop ones because I get all those in PR and stuff but I don't know if I've just not bought in that many or there just hasn't been anything super great on the market, but I would say my top favorite is the Patrick Ta release this year. He came out with the Major Dimension 
I don't know what it's called. I think it's just the Major Dimension 2, and it's the more rosy palette. This one I do have on my eyes right now. I'm just, I'm a huge fan of Patrick Ta's formula. He has my favorite eyeshadow formula because I love that you get powders in here. The mattes blend beautifully. Great pigment. You also get a couple creams, and these are so easy to work with. They blend easily with a crease brush. Um, they do not patch up. They do not skip on the eyes, and so you can actually build powder on top of them and kind of create a more dimensional eyeshadow look and then the shimmers now I know not everyone's a fan of these shimmers because they are more of like a glitter I guess some people call them a topper but I get full opacity with them as you guys can see it looks wet I think they're stunning on the eyes so they're not really gonna feel ultra ultra soft when you put your finger in but you just kind of pat it on and wow it is beautiful. So I'm a huge fan of the Patrick Ta palettes. Um, I love this major dimension too, and I feel like this is gorgeous for rosy looks. I also bought the Glam Light Hershey's Kisses collection this year, and I actually really like these. I think they're adorable. Now, they did end up going to TJ Maxx for only like 10 bucks, so see if you can find them there but I totally think they're worth the $18 anyway that they are so my favorite one because I love my cool tones is of course the milk chocolate palette but glam light has a great eyeshadow formula uh, their mattes are really nice and pigmented awesome foiled shimmers too but yeah this is just a really cute just everyday cool tone neutral palette that I can wear and you get the cute little Hershey's kisses the packaging is a 10 out of 10 on this but the colors are definitely up my alley I am a neutral palette lover so that's why I have a lot of neutral palettes that are in my top favorites that's what I wear the most in my collection I wanted to also give a shout out to the ColourPop and Star Wars pressed powder palette I think they did so good on this collab this year it is just beautiful the colors are right up the Star Wars alley they just nailed the formula on these gorgeous metallics again the mattes performed well i know color pop formulas can be hit or miss this one is for sure a hit so i thought this was just overall a really well curated eyeshadow palette i also totally wanted to mention this palette too i totally forgot to include it but the adept in heather austin palette is one of the most stunning palettes that i've tried this year and it's so good these are the colors inside there is some really creamy like duo chromes in here and some mattes i did a whole video on this one but i was just so so impressed with those shimmer shades especially just so unique and so stunning on the eyes and then of course the swatches just so luxe so stunning heather did such a good job on this I also wanted to mention this little make your own palette here. This was gifted to me actually from the brand Mob or M-O-B Beauty, which was totally new to me. I had no idea what it was, but they sent over all these little individuals and you make a little palette with them. Um, and I've been using this for travel so much because they have really good formulas and I like that it's just all in one palette here. So I actually was so surprised when I got sent this. I kind of didn't touch it for a while. And then I saw that they actually were doing like a little pop-up with Beautylish on their website. And I was like, oh, okay, that's actually really cool. I need to go ahead and try these things because I kept putting it off, putting it off. But it's, like I said, it's become my essential travel palette here. Um, so you buy them like individually and just put them in this little palette. So I have my matte eyeshadows on the bottom, this beautiful shimmer, a matte black. The bronzer is really nice in here, and there's also a beautiful cream blush and a highlight. So literally everything you need all in this little palette. You can build your own, choose your colors, but I'm telling you the formulas and everything I've tried here are really good. I'll try to insert all of the shades that I have in this guy but this is perfect for me for travel and then my last most used palette you guys saw this in my obsessions favorites video the Sigma new mod which was definitely a surprise for me but I've just been non-stop reaching for this one I do a lot of fun bronzy purple looks with this using the vintage shade it is stunning I actually really like Sigma's formula um, it's not as I would say super metallic as let's say Patrick Ta's like it's not as glittery as that it's more of like a satin more natural look but they are so easy to work with so great for beginners great for experts too I can just like easily come up with a look with this and it looks like natural enough for every day even though you are playing with these more fun rosy tones a little more purple so that's what I really love about Sigma their shadows are just so easy to work with but if you want more intense shimmers you may not like their palettes but 
I think they're awesome. So the Numon has been a real favorite for me um, trying out the Sigma eyeshadows this year. And the packaging is stunning. It has this nice velvet packaging. So pretty. Okay, so I think that's it for eyeshadow. Now let's get into the lip products. I'm a lip junkie, as you guys know. So what I am wearing, let's start with these Tarte Juicy Lip Plumps. I've been really obsessed with the glossy lip look lately, so I have a lot of like glossy things, lip oils, stuff like that. Nothing like super matte or anything, but these are so nice. I have two shades actually. This one here that I am wearing is in White Peach. And this is a really nice kind of more warmer, neutral. It's very light, but I wore this with the lip liner and it's so pretty. Like it just makes the lips look so good. It has a minty cooling effect, but nothing that hurts the lips at all. But these are just so shiny and they really are juicy on the lips. Now it's actually really similar to those are the Makeup by Mario and these are the Plumping Lip Serum. So I've worn these a ton this year as well, but it is a similar formula to the Tarte. Just keep that in mind. I actually think these are harder to apply than the Tarte though, because they kind of get mushy around the edges and they're like thicker. So I feel like they just get a little bit messier than the Tarte do. This one is Mauve Glow. I love this kind of deeper chocolate tone, especially in the fall, but these are so shiny and so pretty. I also have Bear Glow which is swatched next to the white peach from Tarte, so that one's just a little bit more pink. But yeah, I've non-stop been wearing these kind of like plumping lip serums. I also absolutely love the ColourPop Glowing Lip Formula. This is a really pretty, more shiny lipstick. It's not as shiny as these guys, but it is a nice in-between. These are really nice, so affordable. This one is in Cockatoo. It's one of my favorite shades. So you can see what that looks like. It doesn't have quite as much shine, but it's still very beautiful, very hydrating on the lips. I also grabbed the shade Indulge Me. This is another favorite, but oh my gosh, I have like literally every color of these. They're so great to wear. I'm obsessed with them. Definitely check out their glowing lips. I did finally get my hands on the Dior lip oil, which also went very viral this year. I don't think it came out this year, but it is still one of my favorite lip oils on the market, and I love the shade Rosewood. I think this one is in stock on Sephora. These were out of stock for the longest time, but they really are so pretty. I have a lot of lip oil favorites, to be honest. Like, lip oils have been a huge hit for me this year. But this one has, like, the nice thick applicator. It is a thicker gloss, so it looks plumping on the lips. And the rosewood color just gives a little tint, as you guys could see. It's really beautiful. And they smell good too, a little bit minty smelling. And then I also could not do this video without mentioning my favorites from Givenchy. I discovered these during the Sephora VIB sale. They are absolutely gorgeous. So these are called the Rose Perfecto Liquid Balms. Uh, this is shade 117 and it is so beautiful. It's kind of similar to, again, the lip serums from Makeup by Mario and Tarte. These actually have a little bit more pigment to them though. So this color is gorgeous, especially in the fall and winter. These are super comfortable. They do have a very light rose candy scent, if that makes sense. A lot of people didn't love the smell. It doesn't bother me. I also bought the 001 shade, which is a little lighter. It just gives more of a pink tone to the lips as well. But oh my gosh. These might be my top favorite of all this year. <laughs> They're just so pretty. Like the packaging, very, it feels very luxe, and they're gorgeous on the lips. Okay, so I think that is everything I wanted to include for the best of makeup 2022 so far. I feel like I have probably a different list than most people because I'm all about just like natural, glam, everyday makeup, wearable things. That's what I really love. So those are my top, top hits so far. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if any of these are also a huge favorite of yours, but I feel like I have some really solid picks here. I'll have them linked all down below if there's anything that you guys want to check out But that is it for this video. I appreciate you guys so much if you guys stuck through the end Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys